Right, so we're going to assemble a Tomahawk bike rack by uh, Rocky Mounts. Very straightforward instructions. Cool thing is, if you need to swap it out from a driver's side to a passenger side, you can flip the arm. Uh, very good. The uh, reason I bought this is because um, of the, uh, the arm that you see here. It basically doesn't touch the frame, goes on the wheel, and essentially walks like that. And it's an upright, don't have to take the wheel off. Uh, but uh, all is looking good. Anyways, let's get started. And uh, we unbox the, uh, the box, we uh, take inventory, make sure we've got everything, and we take it from there. It uh, looks like the only tools that are needed are ones that are supplied, which are the, uh, the various uh, hex, uh, hex tools. So, we've got the main crossbar. Assembly. We've got the mount cover. We have the actual bracket that fits on the uh, crossbar. And as you can see from here, it's actually uh, multiple uh, configurations. So if you got the, the wing kind, the flat, or the uh, simple round, uh, it's a universal uh, bracket for that. There we got our tools, we got our uh, Allen keys um, over there, we got our endpoints or our end pieces over here. Um, and uh, that, is, uh, that is about it. We've also got the back piece that fits on as well, so we can put that uh, over there. And then what we have are the straps. This is going to be a bit of a challenge because I can't visually understand how these straps work, but we'll figure it out as we go. Um, anyways, let's uh, let's go to the first step. Okay, so I am actually going to flip the arm. I'm going to flip it right now because I don't mind on the passenger side. See me undo that. Those two and those two need to be unbolted. Okay, so now that we've loosened that up, simply pull it out. Bar. Put it back in over there. Put this spacer in. Tighten all four of these hex bolts. Again, you guys don't have to see that. Next, what we're going to do is install the, um, the rear tire holder, and let's make sure that uh, 
points in the right direction, and that is this way. So that. that will supply. piece here. Slipped on. That goes to the middle part of the roof. That gets clipped in there. Nice clean end piece. This piece on here as well. in there nicely as well. Now when you're on a car traveling, put that down for better aerodynamics, bring that up, let's put the bike in, get the wheel nicely in there, and then the uh, arm would come up over and slap, clap the wheel down. All right, so let's go to the next step, which is installing the other four four ground um, sets for the crossbar roof. And one correction to the previous, you don't actually put the end pieces on yet. You put in the tire straps. And they slip in like this. They don't slip in very easily or This is a little frustrating. Bring this guy in. Let's, uh, let's see if we have any better luck with this side. Because Let's just put it in some light and see if I can gently nudge. So make sure it's nicely aligned. Otherwise, it's a bit of a, a bear to uh, get this guy in. And this guy right here seems to not really want to budge and or move very nicely. I'm gonna have to uh, go get myself a mallet. Get that out of there and then uh, try moving it better. Oh, did I put that in? No, that looks about right. I think the strap comes up this way. Maybe I'd want the strap on this side so I can tap it in. Actually, I want to reverse those because on the passenger, no, no, I want to keep it like this so that I put my wheel and I will lock it in into place. This way. All right, let's get the mallet and reposition that uh, that piece. All right, so with the mallet, kind of persuaded it in there. Just 
think that's about where my wheel's going to lock. I'm not sure. But we will find out. I have a feeling, because I have a bigger mountain bike, I'm going to have to use the extension piece that came with it. It goes like that. And it goes in there like that. Perfect. All right, now we've got to do the same to the back. Right. Take that, turn it around. Remove this piece. Push down on the back hand over here, that'll pop out fairly easily. Now I know my roof rack is about here, so hopefully it's not going to interfere too much with where I put the, the wheel strap because it's got to go on here. I think we'll have to take things apart again, put it back together. But let's see, uh, let's see where it is. So maybe I'll uh, I'll put this on the roof and then uh, put the back wheel strap on later, just so that I can. Uh, Work that, uh, work that out. Now let's uh, let's put on the front front mounts. Simply removing them like this. All right. So let's. Uh, Got those two apart. This piece goes right over there. Take this guy and put him through there. Let's tighten this guy just a little bit. Pretty much going to do the same on the other side, and then we got to be ready to put it on the roof rack. All right, now that we got it fully assembled, one of the things I did I only did one side, the other one we'll just do one so it's easier to put on top of the roof here. something we don't want to do. So before I tighten everything out, I'm going to put some electrician's tape because what I'm going to do is line the arm up over here so that when I put the bike up, it will be a lot easier. I want it right on the edge. See right here, this guy's right on the edge. And uh, gotta be careful when we, when we do that. So that kind of got marked. So I'm gonna put the tape on. I'll be back with you guys in a minute. All right, now that we've got the tape on there nice.
guys don't have to see me screw this in, but I'll do the other side. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to grab the bike, measure where the straps are going to be. Currently, it's in aerodynamic mode. Obviously, we'll take the straps. Type them in here. That will hopefully not make too much noise. But if we're going to put the bike on, we're going to put that up, put this over, and I'm going to go get the. Uh, I'm going to go get my bike. I'll be right back. All right. So now we get to put the bike on. Bolt it in there, let's hope. Now we just need to perfect. Put that one there. to get the extension for my bike so I'll get the extension for that one at least we can measure where this one will be Perfect. This strap. Put that on there. Perfect. That strap sound good. We'll get the other extension, put that on. Now that I know where the bike's gonna roughly be, there you have it the arm you put it on it goes over here and not over here must come over here to lock it up into place awesome and take it off and obviously put the end pieces on And that's that. So those two notches, when you put the key in, there's a flat piece there. Simply slides in and you pop it in until it's flush. And 
now it is locked. Unlocked. Perfect. So we can put the canopy on and we are good to go. Now we're going to put the cover on. Same thing, you'll see the notches here and there. And this guy's just going to go right in there when we put it on. Never mind, I'm going in backwards. So, lock goes in the back corner. The wider ones, wider slots, narrower slots. Once uh, you get it in there, it's a lot easier and nicer to put in. Looks good. Now we put this guy in. Unlocked. Leave it in a locked position so nobody can steal the rack. Now I chose to put the key here on this side because the wheel's here. It's a lot easier than, than over here. It's a lot easier just to put the key in that way. There you have it. That is how you install a Tomahawk top roof rack mount, uh, bike rack. Thanks for watching. See you next time. All right, that's what the track looks on as it's on model three. Looking pretty sharp.